I took this thing here, this bug shield off, got one mirror off over here, still got to get the other one off on that side. I'm in the process of taking the grill off now. These uh, mirrors mount from the inside like that one over there does. And so it's been a little bit tricky. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take the grill off so I can just do that easier with one hand on the inside and one hand on the outside because I was reaching through here clamping a vice grip on the on the nuts on this side and then unbolting them from over from the outside. Anyway, this this thing here is already broken. This mount here, that one's broken. I'll still have to clamp a vice grip on those it's, it's, or try to reach up there and get get a vice grip on it in order to get those off uh, the easy way. It's better to have two people doing it. You have one on the inside and one on the outside and with the hood almost closed somebody could reach over the radiator uh, with the hood you know leaving them enough room to work under the hood and you can get them off that way but this is what I'm going to have to try to do. Since I'm doing this alone I just took my little work cart shoved it underneath there and stuck a five gallon bucket, an empty oil bucket under there to help hold that grill up. The grill is totally destroyed. It's not worth saving but I, I'd like to at least put something back on. Got the grill off and now I can climb inside here this black glue here, I've seen it in different colors. I've seen it green, black, um, maybe more colors, I don't remember. But that is, looks like I have used it in several places. That's that stuff that goes, those two tubes, those twin tubes that go in that dispenser. That's what this is. Because this has been a part, this thing is, is old and vibrates and it's done a lot of local work it's not just smoothly coasting down the highway it's done plenty of that too but a lot of local work and in, in and out of junky uh, yards doing rail containers and stuff and so which I don't do anymore but anyway trucks taking a heck of a beating so it's got a lot of that glue in there redoing all of this putting stuff back together so now we're going to redo it again. Uh, it's just all this is holding on tight though, but got to refix, repair these things here, fix these where these mirrors are mounted at. It's getting dark. I'm not going to be out here much, but we got some pretty rough stuff going on here. Let's pick some of this off of there. Yeah, we'll just grind all that off down below the uh, normal level there and uh, grind it all the way back into here a little ways and just lay some fiberglass in there and then we'll do the same thing on the back side but we'll lay the fiberglass on a lot thicker on the back build it up about twice what it was got these mirrors off on both sides now and this bezel is still on. I'm getting ready to take it off. Took this one off. Takes a Torx of 25, a T25, to get those four screws out. I pulled my turn signal light right through the, the hole there and uh, just kind of wrapped it around something here on the inside. You can do that or you can just take a sandwich bag and put over the bulb if you want but I still gotta tape these up and cover them up or take them out and I'd rather just tape them up this stuff here is a little bit of fiberglass mat that I put on last time I tried to fix this but I could not find fiberglass resin in any of the local stores and I had to buy something from a Napa store that that was not what I wanted and I thought well I'm in a pinch I started this job didn't have all the materials so 
I put that on there and it got me through for a pinch, but then I didn't seal it. I didn't paint it up, so it may have lasted okay if I had have done that, but I didn't. So now I gotta grind all this off again and start over from where I was. Grind all the stuff I put on there at that time. Grind it all off, as well as these here. We'll grind this off pretty good and put some mat on the outside. We'll grind this down below the surface in the area about so big and then lay fiberglass mat across that. We'll grind the inside down and lay a whole lot of fiberglass across that build it up really thick. These things always turn clockwise when you're looking down at it from the top. So anything that your sandpaper could possibly get caught on, you want to be coming off of that and not on to the piece that you can get caught on because it'll tear into it. Like for example, right in here, you want to be over here grinding downwards on it. You never want to be over here grinding upwards on it. I mean, if you have to do that for some reason because the machine won't fit in there any other way, you got to be extremely careful and gentle with it because it'll grab it. And especially on metal work, on metal fenders that may have a rust hole or something, that'll cut right into this paper, cut it right off, and cut into your backing plate and damage it, destroy it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, grind off the other side. I'm not going to videotape that. We'll just videotape the side. It's got the light on it. Now we're going to take a wet rag, wipe the dust off. I'm going to mix up a little bit of fiberglass resin and I'm going to smear it on all these places that got to be filled because I need it for a sealer or the body filler just won't stick to this. It'll wind up blistering off. That's the only bad thing about this. With regular fiberglass or metal, body filler works just great. I can work it in one shot and be done with it, but this one, we got to play these games with it. I don't want the stuff to be running in behind this because it's a liquid. So I'm going to put some tape on that to uh, kind of keep too much of it from running in behind it. I'm going to put some tape on the back side. Got all these holes taped up. And this is the top part of the hood. I'm going to go ahead and leave that bug shield off of there since I'm just local and I have no intention of going out on the road again. We'll just. Leave that off, fill those holes in too. I'm going to mix up some fiberglass resin and I'm just going to take a plastic dish and stick it inside one of these hefty storage bags. Because that's just the handiest way for me to, to do this. Pour 
just so much in there for now. The hardener, we got to try to make this hardener last as long as this bottle so of um, resin. The hardener's not even full. It's about it's only about a little over half full because the bottom side's real skinny. So it's just a little over half full. Now I'm dripping sweat in there. That's real good. This is not open. I'll have to stick something in there and open that. few drops, maybe a few more. And the last time I used this stuff it would turn purple while I was mixing it. It came out of the bottle kind of greenish and it would turn purple. This one comes out of the bottle kind of brownish. continue mixing that put this camera on the work itself because I don't know how much time I got well it seems to be starting to thicken just a little bit but it's warm out so if you put too much hardener in it will set up too quick it's only been about a minute now this is not like concrete and plaster that once it starts to set up you can break it loose again and start mixing it again and buy yourself some more setting time. You cannot do that with plastics. Once they start to set up they are on their way. There's nothing you can do to buy more time with it. So I have to very quickly be ready to start applying this but I don't want it running off and dripping away because I put it on too soon. Well, I'm going to start putting it on there. All the way across all of this, I'm going to use it as a sealer. Now I'm going to cut out some pieces of fiberglass about this size. Doesn't have to be exact, just I don't know, two layers on the outside is probably enough. The inside is what we really got to back up. A little baby powder. Talcum powder is good to put on your hands for these gloves. I don't have any. The closest thing I got is a little Destinex powder.
case somebody doesn't have this in their area where they live at. This is like a foot powder. Help me get these gloves on. These are the ones I had on yesterday so I don't have to blow them up. They stick so tight, they're packed in the box, vacuum packed, that they don't want to come apart and you got to blow them up like a balloon to get them apart. So while this is still tacky up here on the fender, I'm going to mix up a little more. I'm going to mix up even more than that because I'm going to finish what I missed a little while ago. Now I know I got a Tiva hardener here. Here we go. Now this is mixed, but I'm going to, instead of moving the camera, because I don't have a camera person, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to wipe some more of this on my spot that I'm going to lay fiberglass on. I'm just going to wipe it on there, just a thin coat, right back over where I already wiped it the first time. The first time was a sealer, and to get down in those cracks, Now I'm going to lay this fiberglass down in here and get it soaked. They make a roller that you can put on this and get it in a little deeper, but I'm not going that route. I'm going to wipe some of this extra off of here and smear it on there. Sorry I don't have the camera set up for this. I can't do nothing about that right now because my hands are full of it. I'm just going to lay this other one on top of it. I'll get the camera set up for that here in a minute I think. I'm going to try. I'm trying to use my forearm to do this. Okay, I set the second piece, I just laid it right on top because we had enough in there. This stuff already set up on me. Doggone it. Boy, you gotta be quick. We gotta get all the air out of it. Don't want to see any white showing through it. Now we're good enough on the outside with that. it up a little wrench this time and it's set up too quick. Got this side done too. Sorry I couldn't do it with the camera on because you got to be very quick. The camera has to be on it when you're doing it and anyway 
I just loaded, you know, I, I spread the fiber or the, the resin on there first, thin coat, and then I dipped the uh, fiberglass sheet into the fiberglass resin on one side, came over here, put it on, took the, I made my mistake on the other side by dipping it on both sides. I should have only dipped the one side and then come back and spread a little extra over the top of it, which was plenty. And that's what I, that's what I did over here. It worked out good. There's no air in it. Um, I took the rest of the fiberglass resin and I sealed all of these little places that I gouged out. Got that done. I was just racing real quick because of time before it sets up on me. And now I got to go on the inside and where that tape is over there, I got to grind that area off and then do that area in there. Got the hood closed and I'm going to take a scraper while this resin is still soft and I'm going to scrape all the excess off before it dries rock hard. Time to clean up and start over. Here's the bag that I had wrapped around this. It looks like it did spring a leak. Some of it got inside there. But that's all right. I used a cheap one anyway. So I'm just sticking my gloves in there and turn the bag inside out. Ready to dump this and start over. Well, I gotta hurry up. I don't know how much I'm gonna get on video now because I just found out we got bad weather moving into the area. It's going to last for several days. And that's not going to be in my favor, so. Right now I'm just going to go ahead and peel all this tape off and then I'm going to grind this area just like I did the outside and start uh, filling this in. I'm going to start out with one small patch on each side and then I'm going to put three more large patches over it on each side so we'll have four patches on each side and I regret that I'm not going to be able to videotape this I'll just have to show what it's done but I put it putting it on the same way I did these out here first one patch Okay, we did the grinding already. I'll put a small patch on there and then a larger patch over it. And then uh, three more. I mean, you know, it'll be four patches on each side. 